Hello and welcome back to Investing for Generations, your channel for high quality stock research for long term value investors. And the Q3 season just goes on. And today, before market opening, Caterpillar published their Q3 earnings. And I want to go through these numbers with you and then just tell you what I think about these numbers and what I will do with my position in my portfolio. So let's go. So Caterpillar today before market opening reported the third quarter earnings and the earnings was $1.34 per share uh, and the consensus earnings estimate was $1.15 per share. So they beat their consensus estimates quite a bit and the estimates for the Revenue was 9.5 billion and they reported 9.9 .9 billion. So they also beat this estimates. And that's of course very positive under circumstances which are still very, very difficult and also very difficult for Caterpillar because compared to the third quarter of 2019, of course, the sales and revenues and also the profit declined a lot. Revenue decreased by 23% and the profit per share declined by 54% compared to the third quarter of 2019. And the CEO of Caterpillar said, I'm proud of our global team's performance as we continue to safely navigate the pandemic while remaining firmly committed to serving our customers. Our third quarter results largely aligned with our expectations and we are encouraged by positive signs in certain industries and geographies. We are executing our strategy and are ready to respond quickly to changing market conditions. So these are the reports for the Q3 and Caterpillar after the March crash recovers from $95 to yesterday at the close $163. So this is an immense rising of the stock price. And um, we will see how the market will react today uh, on these good numbers under these circumstances, at least way better than expected. And in my first video about Caterpillar, I also calculated the intrinsic value and at this time the intrinsic value was around $130 for me. And so for me it seems like right now Caterpillar is overvalued a little bit. At this point at these prices I will stick with my position of course because Caterpillar is a great company, a great business, a worldwide leader in this sector. But I will not add at these prices. I just stick to my position and we will see how this will turn out. And Caterpillar is part of my portfolio with a position of 3.31% of my portfolio. And with my original position, I'm up 45% already. And so that's nice. And we will see how this will go on. This is as every position in my portfolio, a long-term play. I'm a long-term value investor and I'm very happy I was able to buy Caterpillar to a very reasonable price um, around $112. This will stick for the long term because on the long term outlook for Caterpillar and the positive outlook, nothing changed and this pandemic will be gone at some point and then the economic come back to normal and um, with all the stimulus also for the economic, I think Caterpillar will be will be participate of all the money who flows into the economy economy all over the world. And so I think Caterpillar is still a great solid long-term investment. As I said right now, a little bit overpriced in my view. I will not add at this moment, but of course if we get another correction or crash and we come back to reasonable prices below the intrinsic value, um, it's very likely that I will add even more shares of this great company. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel and join me on my way to financial freedom. Thank you. And if you really liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. That's very important for the YouTube algorithm and help my little channel a lot. Ring the notification bell to never miss another video. And don't forget to subscribe and join this group of almost 500 people of long-term value investors. So that's it for today. See you soon then with another analysis of another stock. Take care 
बाय बाय